Hey guys, I'm gonna really quick show you how to RTSP enable a Wisecam V2 for Home Assistant use. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna Google RTSP Wise, click the first link. This takes you to Wise's website, which has instructions on how to do this. Okay, so you're gonna scroll down and click the link that says download the Wisecam V2 RTSP file. And you're gonna let that download. That's a zip file. Once it's downloaded, you're gonna open it and extract it. Then you're gonna rename the file that you extract to demo.bin. Okay, now you're gonna load the SD card with the bin file into the camera. Uh, make sure it's formatted FAT32 and it cannot be bigger than 32 gigabytes. So put it in the camera and you're gonna hold the setup button. Now it's kind of a pain you're going to hold the setup button and then you're going to plug the power back into the camera. Okay, keep it held, plug it in, and now you're going to wait for the LED on the back to turn blue. There, that's it. Now it's going to reboot a couple times and when it's finally done, I'll show you how to set it up in the app. Okay, so in the app, you're going to select the camera that you want to modify. You're going to click the menu for settings. Scroll down to advanced settings. And at the bottom, you're going to see RTSP. You're going to turn it on. And then you're going to enter a username and a password. This can be whatever you want it to be. Once you've created them, click generate URL. Now, this URL that's generated you are going to use in Home Assistant to set up the camera. If you have Motion Eye, you're going to go to Add a Camera, and then you're going to change it to a network camera, and you're going to put in that IP address slash live for the URL, and you're going to put in the username and password in the appropriate spots, the ones you set up in the Wise app, and then you're going to make sure the camera type is set to TCP. The rest of it's just config and home assistant. That's all I had for you. Thanks for watching.